Hello and welcome. Last time we talked about numbering systems and so on. This time we're going to talk about uh, different codes. I mean, not every 0-1 combination is a binary number. Uh, I hope you know this. Uh, there are a lot of codes out there. I want to take out two, two particular, from my point of view, important ones. So, there is one time, we, well, we know a binary code, binary numbering system, that's one code, yeah? to simply display a number in binary systems, in binary, with binary numbers. Yeah? We talked about this. Then we also talked about the hexadecimal system. There we had the big advantage that we can directly transfer a group of four bit into one digit, one decimal digit, yeah? and one decimal digit is exactly four bits. Yeah? This was nice because then we could always group four bits together and get exactly one digit, one hexadecimal digit out of it. Yeah? If it wants to, to calculate between binary system and decimal system, this is not that easy, yeah? because if there is, uh, there is no group, yeah? there is no group. It's not working. Yeah? There, a special coding has been developed, or special, it's not that special, we'll see. Uh, there, a special coding is used uh, that we can say, okay, a group of four bit is exactly one decimal digit. Zero is zero, one is one, and so on, ba, ba, ba. and nine is a, is a group of four bits, and then one zero is then already two groups of four bits. Yeah? I show you what I mean. Okay, show you what I mean. I'll let you watch. So this system, by the way, is called binary. Binary, yeah. Coded. Decimal number. This should be a C. It's really important. Yeah. Let's let's do it with a four-digit decimal number. Yeah. Now I show you already the first hint. If you want to. To, to, to use all possible decimal numbers, which are, uh, if you want to use all possible decimal, decimal numbers, which can be used with four digits, you simply start with the lower important one, least significant one, and you just write 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? Just alternating. Yeah. The next one, you start 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Also alternating, but twice as slow. Next one, yeah, also twice as slow. So now we have four zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. One 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 zero zero one one zero one zero one <laughs> next one same same thing zero 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 one 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 now we should have every possible combination of four bits okay this is a very formal approach. You don't have to think a lot. You can simply do it like this. Okay. Let's see what this is. So this is binary coded. It's binary coded. What is the corresponding decimal number? Let's see. The decimal number here. This is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, 
this is 10, this is 11, this is 12, this is 13, this is 14, this is 15. Okay. What I do now, or what was done, is simply cut off the combinations here. We say, hey, we are only using this part of the binary numbers and we call this binary coded decimal number BCD and that's it. Okay, so we're using only these combinations up to 9. For instance, if we want, if we have this number 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay? This number and this number shall be coded in BCD. Then I can simply take a group of four digits of four, uh, a group of four. So this group of four and this group of four and I can translate them group by group. So this is eight and this is two. This is 82. It's easy to translate for us. This is the big advantage of the PCD code. Easy. What's not that What's not that nice is if we are transferring 82, we are transferring 82 to binary, yeah, we get we get a shorter number. Okay, so we're wasting we're wasting uh, memory with the BCT code. Clear because we do not use all combinations. These combinations down here, we simply do not use. So this is not working out for us. Okay. However, it somehow we are used using decimal numbers. We are not that used using hexadecimal numbers because in hexadecimal numbers I can use the whole label. Yeah? There is no loss. Yeah? In hex, I also write it next to here, in hexadecimal we do have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then the special symbols A, B, C, D, E, F. So we have a whole, the whole possible combinations of four groups. In BCD, I only use a part of the decimal numbers. This is why in BCD I am wasting. I'm wasting memory. In hexadecimal, I'm not wasted, wasting. However, I'm not used to use hexadecimal. We are used to use decimal. And this is nice to have it in groups. So this is the reason why PCT code was invented. Okay. This is simply the reason. Now, let's have a look on this, on this binary codes. Yeah, binary codes, BCD codes, hexadecimal codes. It's not really that important how to call it. However, you know, uh, if we go through from here to here, I use a thinner marker. From here to here, we change one. There's this one is changing. Yeah? There's one digit is changing from here to here. This one is changing and this one is changing. Two digits are changing from the here to here. One digit is changing from here to here. Three digits are changing from here to here. One digit is changing from here to here. Two digits are changing from here to here. One digit is changing from here to here. Four digits are and so on. There is always changing a different amount of bits inside the pattern. Now let's imagine we are measuring something and there is a ruler and so on, there is coded, there is coded uh, 
the position of the ruler and we're reading this yeah? with some optical equipment we are reading this and we want to measure how far we are from zero okay? then if we really measure exactly one line it's okay yeah? then we're reading the correct line however if we are reading a little bit you know not not ho not exactly this yeah? but we are reading a little bit across yeah because there is a shift or a twist in our optical reader yeah then we might read some bits from here we might read some bits from here yeah? and here we can end up yeah? let's use this example yeah? actually we are at this position and we are reading 0 1 1 1 we are not we are we are not reading somewhere around this we are jumping to a totally different position yeah just because we made a misreading we are reading somewhere else yeah? and this is for this application of of reading uh, and position and so on this is tragical yeah? if i do a misreading it would be beneficial if i maybe if i maybe here or here a little bit of a little bit away from the actual position but if i can jump to a totally different position with my reading not the pos not the real position that the, the measured position is jumping to somewhere else then this is not a, a very reliable measuring system okay that's an issue here yeah? that's a real issue so have a look at me Shh. what to do about this issue what to do about this? Uh, there was a code invented. Yeah? There was a code inve invented, the so-called gray code. The only, the only permission or the only thing a gray code needs yeah, is that it consists of zeros and ones. Yeah, there are bits, and from one position to the next position is only changing exactly one bit, not more, only one that's it yeah. the result is there are a bunch of gray codes yeah. every possible combination of bits where it's only changing one digit one bit at a time from position to position is already a gray code yeah. so there are a lot of gray codes out there however of course there is one which is very widely used which is usual let's say yeah but it's important to know it's not the only gray code out there okay so i will show you i will show you this gray code okay down there again this was what we talked about okay so now let's talk about gray code i showed you how to put in this binary binary combinations yeah gray code we're not talking about gray code yeah. here in gray code we do it a little bit different yeah we start like here with a zero okay zero but then we use one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero and so on yeah so it's like the second line here but shifted one up yeah and this will proceed the second line is like the third line, but shifted two up. So we have here zero zero one one zero one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero zero. Okay, he already made a mistake. Passed. Third line shifted by four. Yeah, so this one. So we have. 
zero 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 one 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 zero 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 next line again And now, let's see how many bits are changing from here to here, one, from here to here, equal, 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 one, from here to here, one, zero, 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 one, from here to here, zero, zero, one, zero, one, from here to here, one, no, 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 from here to here, not, yes, not, not, one. From here to here, yes, no, 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 one. From here to here, no, 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 yes, one. From here to here, yes, no, 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 one. From here to here, no, yes, no, no, yes, a uh, one. <laughs> yes, no, 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 one. No, no, yes, no, one. From here to here. Yes, no, 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 one. From here to here, no, yes, no, no, yes. And from here to here, from here to here, yes, no, no, no. And from here to here, ooh, no, 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 yes, one. Hey, every step only changing one bit. Isn't that great? Of course it's great. Yeah? This is a gray code now. Yeah? And you see, we produced it in a very logic way. Yeah? If we are looking at this, it looks always like a little bit tree. Yeah? If we're marking now the ones with darker color, It looks like a little bit like a tree, which is getting always. If you see something like this, it's a typical gray code. Yeah? Like I said, it's not the only gray code, but it's a typical gray code. Now let's see if we are reading a little bit straight, we are not reading zero one zero one we're reading zero one 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 so we still believe we are here next one read it a little bit not we're reading zero one zero one we believe we are here if you're reading in this not accurate zero one zero zero we believe we're only one field away you know it does not really matter yeah it doesn't if we're measuring here or here is not that severe then if we try if you think we're measuring here and jump to another position yeah? that's the big beneficial of a gray code okay. now this looks a little bit poo, yeah? this looks a little bit complicated is there a method of transferring a binary number into a gray code number yeah? let's say I have a binary number which is, I don't know, one. Let's use this one. One, zero, 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 one, zero. Okay. Let's use this. Okay. How to transfer this into exactly this type of gray code? I take this binary number, this is now binary here, okay. I shift this to one to the right so i shift it to zero one zero 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 one zero okay the, the right the left one i fill with zero this one i forget yeah? and then i fill up every position where there's a difference with a one yeah here they're different one here they're different one here they're not different zero 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 one one 
This is the binary number in gray code. In exactly this gray code. Okay. Let's try it with a small. Let's try it here. I don't know which one do we like. Five. Let's try it with five. Yeah. The binary number of five is uh, zero one zero one. That's the binary number of five. Yeah. Now call it bin. Yeah. Now I shift it to the right. One zero one zero zero. This I forget. Gray code resulting in this is different, this is different, this is different, this is not different. And now let's have a look. Uh, this would be zero, this would be one, this would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is decimal. Uh, Decimal, this was decimal 5, we said, decimal 5 is 0, 1, 1, 1. Pa, perfect, yeah, working. This is how you can transfer into this type of gray code. Like I said, it's not the only gray code out there, yeah? but it's widely used. Why they use gray code? Yeah. I think this should be enough. I think this should be enough for coding. You see, a bit better is a bit better. What is behind depends on the code. And this is why we only also should write the code BCT or gray or something as footnote. Yeah. yeah. That's about the codes. Next time we do some, something different. Next time we're talking about logic. Okay. Not that up to now this was not logic. It was already logic. But next time we are talking about hardcore logic. And or not. And so on. Okay. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.